So you'll want to utilize responses that people have been making in conversation with the bot further down in the conversation. This will make your bot more sophisticated and it's particularly useful if you want to confirm something. So your bot has chatted with someone, maybe it's taken a booking and you want to give the person a chance to say, yes, that's the correct date. So the bot repeats it back to them. Well, another common use of a prior response would be if um, you want the bot to know the person's name and use the name in conversation. And that makes the conversation a bit more friendly and a bit more personal. So how do you use a prior response? So the crucial thing is to understand that each interaction of your bot has a unique ID number. And if we hold the mouse over the interactions here on the right, there you'll see the list of all your interactions with each has a unique ID number. And this allows you to pick which interaction you want to refer to when you're gathering the response of the user. So I'll just give a simple example, which is the which is using someone's name. So at the start of this particular bot, we have a, you know, what's your name as the opening question. So what we need to know is what interaction number was this? And hello first step, which is what this one is, is 22240. So we know the answer to 22240 is the person's name. And that means we can create the next step, which is where you bring back the name into the conversation. So hi, response to interaction 22240, so that's hi, whatever their name was, and then this fallback equals text. Um, you can write it out each time manually with the square bracket response to interaction and the ID number of the interaction you want to refer to, or we have a, a shortcut button for you. So you can go to prior responses, response text, and you can click this, and there it appears in your uh, interaction. This is just a standard uh, interaction, of course. I don't want that now, but I do want this one. Now you'll notice I've got fallback. That's if the something com goes wrong. So they, they don't enter a name. You know, people are inclined to try and mess uh, with bots, and they might well find a way uh, to avoid mentioning a name if they if they want to, or you know, just that uh, something goes wrong in terms of their their entry. So you can have a fallback, and it's quite smart to make your fallback a start over. So I'm going to do that. So if something goes wrong with the name, it's going to go, um, oh dear, something seems to be wrong. Let's start over. And the importance of the phrase start over is that that is a default phrase under the configure menu for causing the bot to start over. So you could put any kind of error message you like. But if you want the bot to actually go back to the first interaction, then have a look under configure over here on the left, and you'll see that the restart command is start over again. In fact, I'm glad I checked because now I go back to my build and we go have a look at the um, second step of that interaction. And we'll add the word again. So let's start over again, and now that will restart the bot if something goes wrong. But the crucial thing I've tried to explain here is this prior response formula here this function uh, is what you need to gather the response and then start to use it again and you, as I say you can use that to repeat back all sorts of responses that the person's made and it adds that extra layer of sophistication and just uh, let's just test this out uh, so what's your name and we're just going to say Doctor Who there we are, it's up and running.